Hello guys, this is FebBinaryOptions.com so Let's write on the screen the FebBinaryOptions.com So this is fairbinaryoptions.com and uh, I would like to focus a bit here on the US dollar and Canadian dollar on this move as I would uh, I would um, favor the upside here we have a pretty interesting uh, pattern the pattern is actually being called a terminal impulsive move and this terminal impulsive move is quite bearish from this moment on. Why bearish? Because it looks like a wedge, it acts like a wedge and as a consequence because it is a falling wedge it should reverse to the upside. Now the thing is that um, this is a five-way structure that you see here and this five-way structure goes all the way from here to here like this. So this should be labeled the one to, this should be the one to three trend line and the other ones here should be the 2 to 4 trend line from here from here like this to this moment of time it should be the 2 to 4 trend line so it is broken here and now the market is uh, trying to escape higher the thing is that this uh, falling wedge or this terminal impulsive move even though it is so skinny if you want the thing is that is uh, it is an extremely bullish one and it is always being 100% retraced now 100% retracement for it means the 108.90 area now we are in the 108.30 area and there we go we are talking about a distance of something like 60 pips just like that well 60 pips just like that imply of course call options to the upside and in order to avoid the volatility in the short term trading or in order to avoid fake moves or noise in the market I would like of course to choose end of week expiration date even though it is one hour chart normally if this would have been uh, Monday and we'll have this pattern on the one hour chart I would try to avoid this situation and maybe even this recommendation but now it is Thursday and on Thursday if you have end of week expiration date basically means only uh, two days as uh, today is, um, is Thursday and uh, the option will expire on Friday by the time the US markets are closing so let's write here on the screen that buying call options with end of week expiration date for the US dollar and Canadian dollar and this implies a move towards almost 109 but this is uh, let's say of no value when you trade binary options because when you trade binary options and you trade call options like it is the case here to the upside then those call options need to go um, or then um, the the price of the financial instrument in our case here US dollar Canadian dollar should go even one pip higher than your striking price and your option will expire in the money even though it's not going to go that high to the 109 so if you look here we are in 10830 so we're buying call options with end of week expiration date 10830 that would be our striking price and on Friday by the time the US markets are closing that is going to be our uh, expiration date so I would say that this in the end will turn out to be an expanding triangle nothing else an expanding triangle that goes like this something like this and uh, it is only being part of I would say um, a triangle of a bigger degree so this to be the A the um, A to C trend line and this to be the B to D trend line something like this 
and the triangle expands and of course that the E wave is the most complex one and this should be our E wave. Uh, the E wave already uh, already being finished, price trying to break higher, so probably it will go into the territory of this of this uh, 10910, 10920 for a nice uh, let's say opportunity for short in the pair or a nice opportunity to um, engage into buying put options. Thank you very much for being here. Keep in mind that this is fairbinaryoptions.com and all these recommendations are possible due to the help of our sponsor here, Lionive. So make sure you check lionive.com. Also make sure you go on our Binary Options Academy project and see all the projects that we have there and um, Stay safe on the markets. Bye-bye.